What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush HD and welcome to episode 64 of my FIFA 13 Road to Gold Around the World series. Welcome back guys, we're going to be continuing on, on with the Polska squad, sorry. And um, we've got three games remaining, hopefully we can stay in the Division um, Division 1. But um, as you can see, we have quite a few contract um, issues and uh, I'm looking for players to swap out. Because obviously, it, at this time and moment, it is cheaper to pick up cards and... Um, uh, which are in the right, we have contracts, sorry, I can't get, have contracts and swap them out for the players who haven't, then try and sell those players, it's just cheaper because contract cards are going for about 500 coins, which is absolutely stupid, as you can see here, um, I'm just looking through, and uh, you do get the rare one there, I flick past that silver one, which is fairly annoying, but 300 coins for a silver one, and it goes up quite a bit here, as you can see here, they're just manager ones there, you do get lucky, but they go up like a snap. And um, they just go so quickly. And uh, I'm just looking for contract cards. And I decided just to go and bid on quite a bit. Um, just 350 coins and 300 coins and whatever whatever I can get them for. Um, just put a bid on quite a few of them. And uh, hopefully I can go and pick up a card at least. I need like a couple. I'm not too sure. But as you see, the, the, it's contract cards. The demand is so high for these things. And um, after a while, the market crashes in the sense that no one buys any packs. And stuff like that. The, everything just increases. And um, yeah, so uh, we're just going to quickly add on to on, on add the contract cards we actually won. We did pick up one of them, and uh, I think we I don't think we picked up the other two. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I do just randomly go and pick up a contract card for 400 coins. I couldn't be asked for the weight. And um, yeah, so uh, we got our team up to shape now, and uh, hopefully, oh my god, I keep I've got the burps, guys. I'm so sorry about this one. Um, but uh, we come up against a MLS squad um, for the third game. I think we need to just to win this game just to stay in the division. And Pyke here does some fantastic work. Unfortunately, he couldn't get a finish. That'd been a fantastic goal to score. But he does bring me down for a penalty. And hopefully, we can go and score this penalty. We had a fairly nice MLS squad with Marvel Win or is it Marvel uh, Win? I, I think it's, I know it's Win, but I'm not too sure of his first name. But uh, we go and score that penalty with Melkerson. And yes, it is Marvel Win with 93 pace centre back, um, which is fairly annoying. But he's not the tallest of centre backs, which is nice. He's also got Olave, who again has got a high 70s, and I think he's got someone else. I'm not too sure on the other centre back. But we had it one 0 We then move on into the second half, and what was he doing? there stupid dummy by him and that's a fantastic finish from Melkerson he has got to be the star player of this team just a fantastic player overall uh, he then makes some changes and brings on Mattox just for the pace I'm guessing but uh, the pace isn't too much but uh, I unfortunately lost it the ball there and um, Barchan made a 2-1 in the 78th minute straight from kickoff though we're not going to give up Sabata um, so I'm not too sure how you pronounce it I think it's so Ota. I'm not too sure, but uh, Radovic gets it to 3-1 in the 80th minute. That's what you want to do straight after the um, they score. You want to try and get one as quick as you put. Apply on the pressure. And uh, this guy was just getting frustrated. He had Colling as well, the other centre-back. And um, he was just doing keepy uppies, and I was just waiting there. I didn't want to waste the fitness. And uh, he decided to go on a run. I just thought, okay, I'll try and tackle him. Win it first time, and he was just pretty frustrated after that. He was... Uh, Definitely angry, uh, just sat there with his controller, must have gone away. But um, we ended up winning that game 4-1, and we remain in the division. We're not going to play any more games with this squad, so we've got to go and play in the Silver Cup. And uh, hopefully we can do fairly decently in the Silver Cup. Um, so we're going to go and quit. Oh, it's the Silver Shield, guys. I'm sorry if I call it Silver Cup, whatever. It's Gold Cup, Silver Shield, and the Bronze trophy <laughs> i've got no idea what the bronze one is um but um we go and apply some contract cards onto the players and we go into the silver shield guys and uh, we come up against this bronze team which i was fairly happy about but the result of this game may shock you guys and um yeah i'm not going to say anything else but uh straight from kickoff we go on the attack and i thought i could have got the whole field there ran up the whole field but um a lovely run from melkson lovely free ball by the radish <laughs> and uh, that made it one nil in the second minute straight when you want to score and um I was taking this guy fairly lightly in terms of it. You'll find out later. But uh, his defence obviously wasn't up to shape with my players. And um, he throws that ball out. Um, bad, bad shot from my striker. But uh, so Sobata, I'm not too sure how you pronounce that. Passes it to this left-midded player. I'm not going to try pronouncing that name whatsoever. Ganakazik. Um, but uh, that made it 2-0. And um, guys, I'm really sorry if any of you like... I'm not, I hope I don't offend anyone, but if I get these pronunciations horribly wrong, I'm sorry if I do. But um, this guy here, 
he get uh, it's just a very bad touch and um, he got fairly lucky I was just trying to keep him out on that side because I didn't think he could do too much and it just happened to bounce off my player falling in the path of an open goal but um, he then goes on the attack again I'm just trying to keep him outside the box because bronze players don't have a good shot but uh, that was a fairly nice finesse shot from that Korean guy I'm guessing he's Korean he may be Japanese I'm not too sure on that one but um, that made it 2-2 and uh, but um, <laughs> I was kind of shocked but I just want to go straight on the attack and uh, he let he, on the bronze defenses. He wasn't playing everyone in the right formation. He had very very low chemistry, and these bronze defenders they don't really coordinate well with the over the top ball, and it, it just leaves me open. But uh, Radovic here, nice nice shot to make it four two, and then this guy wasn't giving up. A uh, fair play to him, a keeper with a very very bad save indeed. And what the hell was going on here? I didn't know we were having a clusterfuck in the box because <laughs> that came off the post about a couple of times. Bounced off a few players, but we ended up winning the game 4-3, which is a fairly close game. GG to the guy who played for that bronze squad. I wasn't playing the best whatsoever. Like I said, I was taking him fairly lightly. But um, we're going to move into the next game. And also that Traore guy, I forgot to mention earlier in the episode, he's normally in a cam and I picked him up in a centre mid for about 5k, which is actually a very, very good buy indeed. I could probably sell him for about 8k a bit in the future. But we're going to try and get into the second game. It took some time to actually find an opponent. We come up against the guy, we're going to be rocking the green kit. Sorry, we come up against an Italian slash Cilia A slash Cilia B squad. And um, it looks like a fairly nice squad. And you'll find out by the end of the result, it's a fairly nice squad indeed. But... Uh, I get very, I'm very unlucky there. I thought I could make that challenge and just got caught, not expecting the ball to fall to my player. And Cristiano makes it 1-0 in the 12th minute. Um, his player here, Sarno, um, I just I just, I just, just couldn't get the ball off his player. Went in for the slide tackles. A fantastic slide tackle there. Uh, <laughs> in a sense, that I'm just trying to keep him out of the danger zone. Anywhere near the box slash edge of the box on those diagonal runs. It's just lethal. But I wasn't expecting this at all. Um... D. Glenello goes and scores that free kick to make it to 2-0 in the 38th minute. And um, he then gets... I get that's such an annoying thing to concede. And um, those headers where he just doesn't head it hard enough. And why do keepers run so weird? Have you... Has anyone else noticed that? If you bring them out, they run like a crab. They only run sideways. They don't run like diagonal. They just run sideways and... Like, I don't know, there's like a crab. <laughs> but he made it 3-0, and then he made it 4-0 there with a... Um, I just missed that goal there in terms of I was talking about a load of gobbledygook. But um, we're going to go on the attack here. Get fairly lucky for that keeper not to be able to save that. And that made it 4-1 by Pike. The striker to make it 4-1 in the 65th minute. We then move on all the way to the dying minutes of the game. Melkson here picks up the ball. Try his defence was just solid. Um, but uh, we end up finding the gap with Treyway to make it 4-2 in the 89th minute. And that is how the game ended. 4-2. He also had that player. I'm not too sure on how he, his name. But um, he's a fairly pacey Italian centre mid. He's called like... Um, centre back, sorry. He's called like Centre Close. I'm not too sure I pronounce that. Silver player, 74 rated, plays in the, I think it is the Selly A squad. But um, he was just a very, very good player. Two pace. As you can see there, I had more shots slash more possession. And it was just an annoying game to end up losing. But guys, that is the end of the episode. If you like this episode, remember to hit that like button. Also subscribe to stay tuned to this series. And put any feedback in the comments. This is the end of the episode. This has been Crunchy. Till next time, adios.